I'm making this video because my Android TV box uh, bricked up. It would not start. It basically would go to the boot animation, which wasn't displayed properly, and it would just be in a constant loop. And I searched the internet and YouTube to find a solution to this problem. Though there was a lot of information out there, I did not find almost any of it to be correct at all. I found a small article that actually told me how to do this and I'm going to do this and show you that way in case you have this problem you can fix it within minutes. First thing you want to do is click on the first link that I'll supply and that's the Amlogic burning tool, USB burning tool. You're going to need this and you're, you're going to want to come to this link to get this tool because when I open the file you'll see why you want this one. Click on that first one. Go ahead and let it download. Yeah. Now watch. When I open this, you'll see why you want to go to that link to get that tool. All right. This file right here. You need that file. All right. So first things first, what you want to do, you want to take a dual male USB wire and you want to connect one end of it to a 2.0 USB connection on your computer. And then you want to take the other end and connect that to the back of your Android TV box. It's the USB connection is right by your audio video, your HDMI, your Ethernet, and your power supply. So all you need to do now is you need to plug the USB drive in to that connection and I'm going to do that okay now there's a reason why you have to do this have this plugged in when we install this software it's going to need that device to be plugged in when we install the software that way it can put the necessary drivers needed to communicate with it. So go ahead and right click on that and run as administrator. Check that box. And those are the drivers it needed to install. So the, that's why the box needs to be connected when you install this software. Go ahead and finish. Finish. Now Disconnect the USB wire from your device. Okay. <coughs> now what you want to do, you're going to need to get the firmware for your device. So let's go ahead and click the link for the firmware. Now you'll find a lot of these TV boxes on here. All you really want to do is find one that matches yours. And first thing is the uh, visual. Find one that looks like yours. See that's like mine, but it's mine's not a plus, mine's a pro, so I won't try that one because this one actually the specs are different than my box, so that's not going to help. So you want to find you have to know the specs of your device. But if you if you just go through them, you'll find one that works. Like this one right here. That'll do it. I'll go ahead and click that. Now I've already saved that file so I don't need to wait on that. So I'll go ahead and close that. That file is right over here. Now these are very important steps. You have to follow these steps precisely. Now 
And while, while we're waiting on this, go ahead and right click on this icon, open file location. We want to make a folder. open that folder, drag this file into that folder. Now our, our firmware, go ahead and grab that and drag that into the same folder. Got to do that. If you don't do that, it's not going to work. Okay, now we got all the files we need. Our device is not connected at the moment. Let's go ahead and start the software. So the, the device is not connected. Don't have the device connected when you start the software. Don't do that. Have it disconnected. Go ahead and click right there, English. Okay, now we want to load our ROM, our firmware. Let's see, it doesn't know where it's at, but we know where it's at. The folder we made right there. But it's got to be in that folder with the other file. Alright, it checked the file. Now here's the key that you want to pay attention to. We, we loaded our ROM, our firmware is loaded. Go ahead and hit start. Now our device is still not connected. What we will do, hold in the reset button that is located inside the audio video port right. hold in the button there's a little button in there find it with a pen a toothpick you'll hear it click when you press on it it's the audio video plug hold that reset button in and connect your USB wire right there next to it and then disconnect the, the reset button Hold in the reset button when you plug in the USB drive or the USB wire. That's it, and it go ahead. And it you'll get a full you'll get a full flash with no errors. And the main key is making that folder, putting the necessary files in the correct folder, and basically starting the program and the whole process without the device connected. Because everyone else said to have the device connected when you start the program, but that's not even correct. It doesn't work. If you like to see errors then listen you know but you can see it's working so and I'm not gonna get any errors back at least for this device this information is correct so basically it's going to take a few minutes to flash the firmware the better your computer the faster it'll flash it now when this thing completes don't disconnect your your wire from the box yet. You want to when it's fully com finished, click the stop and then close the program. Disconnect your USB and then plug it back up to your TV and the first initial run is basically like it's fresh out of the box. So it's going to be installing all your uh your applications. So you're going to have like uh whatever applications are in the firmware. So and if the first one doesn't match your computer right, it doesn't look the, doesn't look right, or the uh, Android version's different, keep looking. There's a whole bunch on there. You'll find the right one. I went through probably about three different ones, which all worked. I went through three of them before I found one that I preferred over the others. So you can fix your device. I'll take a picture with the camera right now, just 
supply of pixels. That'll do it. Go ahead and click stop. Close the program. Disconnect the wire. You're, you're set. Hook it back up to the TV. Give it a couple minutes for the initial run because it's going to have to install all the applications. And you're set.